the past couple of hours, something pretty crazy just happened in crypto. And I mean, by watching this channel, you've probably heard me say that a few times already here and there, but there are two things which have just happened that I think will really blow your mind a little bit. And now to keep it brief, not waste anybody's time, here's point number one. And it's a pretty heavy one, but take a look at this. Today, Consensus, which if any of you guys have no idea, this is basically the company behind Ethereum. They're behind a lot of things like MetaMask and many other things too, but it's just to name something. What they have done today is they filed a lawsuit against the SEC. I'm just giving you the quick little rundown here. Basically wanting the SEC to answer whether or not Ethereum is a security. So it's pretty akin to what Coinbase has done, where they basically sued the SEC to make sure the SEC cannot go anywhere without giving an answer as to whether or not crypto is regulated or what the rules really are. So Consensus did pretty much the same thing, but then with regards to whether or not Ethereum is a commodity, or a security and it's interesting. So today we suit the SEC. The goal behind this is to ensure that Ethereum remains a vibrant and indispensable blockchain platform and to preserve access for the countless developers, market participants and institutions who have stake in the world's second largest blockchain. Why have they done this you might ask? Well, they took this step for two basic reasons. One, the SEC should not be allowed to arbitrarily expand its jurisdiction to include regulating the future of the internet by wrongly labeling Ethereum a security. And point number two, the SEC's reckless approach is bringing chaos to developers, market participants, institutions, and nations who are building or already managing critical systems running on Ethereum. And I straight at the bat thought of Uniswap, but then on an opposite side, I'm thinking, well, that lawsuit is separate, why would consensus really care too much, right? Then again, with all these things being built on top or working with Ethereum, every lawsuit that's on an Ethereum or on Ethereum protocol would theoretically speak and harm the company. Ethereum isn't just imp about information being permissionless. It's about human ingenuity being permissionless. We encourage others who feel equally aggrieved by the SEC's aggressive regulatory actions to make their voices heard. At Consensus, we believe that advancing adoption of blockchain platforms like Ethereum will help reshape and enhance how future generations will manage economic, financial, social, political, and technological systems, creating a more equitable, transparent, and innovative world. What a press release, huh? Our mission is now under threat from an ideologically driven regulator, the SEC, and we have time and time again witnessed the current SEC contradicting itself with ever-changing views on the blockchain, consistently mischaracterizing this technology and what is built on as a, uh, as a shallow and doomed investment scheme rather than as the breakthrough technology that it is. And it is time the industry stood up for itself. Our action today is intended to protect the Ethereum ecosystem as well as the entirety uh, of the extended decentralized protocol ecosystem. So long story short, um, <laughs> the guys behind Ethereum, or basically we can say Ethereum, is suing the SEC to make sure that Ethereum is not a security. So a really funny one. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have like an hour worth of information that I wanted to share, but nothing really matters. I wanna kind of keep it brief here and tell you, whatever you're seeing here on the SEC front, almost nothing matters. Cause if we're taking a serious look at prices, right? Almost never is there a correlation. I mean, right now you might say, oh, this is such bad news. No, the prices are going up though. And I will add something there. And this is why you shouldn't trust the news too directly. First of all, I should say that this had two sides. One, which makes it confusing, is that it kind of seems like as if everything is copying the Coinbase lawsuit where uh, the SEC was serving consensus a Wells notice of, hey, you know, MetaMask is not going too well, yada, yada. And at the same time, then consensus was like, ooh, since they're investigating us, we want to get back at the SEC before things are too late. Now, you might ask, why is the SEC doing all this? Power? politics. But anyway, I wanted to cover the Ripple lawsuit to kind of explain to you guys why a lot of the news and updates don't really matter for price no more. However, then I noticed this, and I think this is the biggest news. 
but it kind of depends on your perspective. The SEC is expected to deny spot Ethereum ETFs next month. So at the same time, right, we first of all have got consensus fighting back for Ethereum, which you could see as positive news. But at the same time, we're getting the heads up that the SEC will call Ethereum out to not be eligible for a spot ETF thus quite yet. Which, why would that be? Would it be because of security? Well, it's not safe, there's reasons, but from as far as I've read on Twitter and on Reuters, the filers, so the people requesting to get this ETF out there, their meetings have been quite negative recently, and thus they've changed their outlook from, let's go, to, mm, eh, iffy wiffy. And that's the funny thing, right? BlackRock almost never loses, but they could. And since this is one of the more controversial products right here, it'll be very, very big news regardless of what happens. But there is a chance that the Ethereum ETF will not push through. And again, the question will be, will we then dump? Will we then come down for a little bit or continue on blazing through? And logically, you might say, well, Ethereum ETFs get denied. It means big pullback, big correction. I personally expect that the day it gets denied, if it does, um, it's it's an extension of sorts, so it won't be a crazy crash, but it'll be a pullback because people like to buy the rumors, sell the news, and this news is really sellable as it's negative, and some bigger players want to manipulate and shake people out, get them fearful, but the price will quickly recover, and in lieu, or I should say, in the in the. Uh, weeks beforehand leading up to it, everything will most likely already price in because the expectation is usually already known quite a bit up front. With the Bitcoin spot ETFs, it was basically all across the board said, hey, it's going to probably be approved. If right now everybody is saying, uh, it's going to probably be denied, if it does get approved, you can expect a pretty massive pump. But then again, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm bringing all this up and bringing it all together is because I think a lot of the news that we like to put emphasis on is just what bigger companies like to manipulate the price around. If we're being realistic, an ETF opening the doors is bullish news, but it's going to happen regardless. And day one is not that crazy bullish because if you really think about it, most institutions, if they really want to get themselves Ethereum, will find another way. And it might be because of regulatory issues, but I just take it at the baseline of if they really wanted to buy Ethereum, they would have done it already. This is just to allow easier access for a broader range of institutions, but they would have done so, meaning bought, Anyway, they, they would have. The bigger piece of news that I am personally watching out for is for specific institutions to be like, hey, we load it up. You know, if Apple all of a sudden, but why would Apple? Apple's not so logical. I, I think a lot of companies shouldn't actually be holding crypto because then all of a sudden the companies become too speculative. I prefer if those companies just stick to whatever business they've got and then the big fund managers, people who want to safeguard money actually go ahead and buy it. Or companies like Apple, like the big ones that just put a tiny portion like Tesla did that they don't really have to sell. It's just for in case it's just something different. But I think with a company as big as you know Apple, for example, it's not really necessary for them to do so. They're fine with holding cash. You might say, oh, but what if there's a massive crash all across the board? Well, if all their phones stop selling, everything they've got stops selling, that little bit of cash or the little bit of crypto is not gonna save them anymore, you know? Because what the, what's the company about if it can't sell anything no more, if you understand where I'm coming from. It's different though, the moment that they decide to integrate something into the phones or into the software somewhere, those are the big announcements that you like to see from guys like Apple, from the fund managers, uh, all those guys you like to see interoperability, so for them to make it easier, better software, better connections, more allowances, more applications of ETFs, this, that, this, that, that's what you like to see. But then again, if you're thinking, oh, but that's all gonna pump the prices up like crazy, right? Well, this is all just coming out, which is all pretty confusing, but the price is just going up. Or I should at least say that the price had a pretty good bounce from the bottom. <laughs> and anyway, guys, I'm still just very excited. I don't really care about a lot of the short, short term things that's happening. Just wanted to quickly share this theory news though, because it hits like a truck. In terms of that, it's a really heavy thing. Uh, both Ethereum spot ETFs probably being denied and the whole lawsuit situation, but also MetaMask, it's just crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little crypto update and I'll probably be back tomorrow or later today with some crypto updates. I'll be back better now. I think I've fully healed up, so I'm pretty good to go again. But yeah, stick around for some cool top crypto coin lists as well. And let me know down below what other video you'd like to see. That's about it.